Hey guys, good morning from whatever part of the world you are in. Let's talk about Jollibee. I received a lot of messages again asking about what will be the implications of them purchasing or getting the master franchise of uh, Tim Hoan and how will it work in its long-term outlook and how will it impact the earnings of Jollibee as well. And let's talk about the chart of where Jollibee is headed, what uh, the direction in terms of a technical analysis perspective. For those who don't know, no, I've been a very, very, very big fan of Jollibee even, be even before. I even posted a video about this and why I love Jollibee so much. So if you want to know more about it, I'll try to put the link below also so you have an ideology of where we're coming from. So here's the thing, no. Even there were a couple of news items also that came out over the past few weeks that could possibly impact Jollibee. I mentioned in a, a few weeks back that Jollibee uh, was ordered by the court as well to regularize its employees, which uh, at the end of the day will have an impact on their bottom line unless they do some sort of tweaking also in terms of their expenses. Um, but with or without that, and with or without also this deal with Tim Ho Wan, them getting the master franchise of it, it, uh, it really doesn't, how do I put this, it really doesn't of sorts affect their, bot of, affect their bottom line. They've been a good company with or without this. But what this does though, especially the deal with Tim Ho Wan getting the master franchises, it allows them to expand their Chinese brand. You have to remember, they have around two stores or two uh, brands that are in China. Then plus they have Chowking, which is generally operated uh, for the Philippine market as well. Chinese food, but for the Philippine market, this one gives them a casual dining chain, which allows them to expand to different markets and different tastes. I've, I've been a fan of Tim Ho Wan uh, ever since I tried them overseas. The first time I tried them was in, I think, Singapore and Hong Kong. But uh, ever since so I love them so much, I love the quality of how it's done. And um, adding Jollibee, add, uh, Jollibee, adding Tim Ho Wan to the mix further enhances their portfolio. Please remember this, they've been expanding uh, year upon year upon year with their goal. Now, for those who haven't really uh, followed Jollibee's expansion plans, one of Jollibee's expansion plans is they want to have 50% of their income come from overseas by 2020. So this is pretty much in line with it. You have to remember, aside from China, aside from all of the Chinese uh, stores that they have in China, they also have all of the Dunkin' Donuts branches there. Uh, they own they own hundreds of stores in, in China. Plus, if you add uh, Vietnam to the mix, they own Highlands Coffee. They have a consortium for Highlands Coffee. And aside from Highlands Coffee, they also have a, uh, they also have four, for business there as well, which will come to the Philippines in a few months. So they're pretty much exposed to in Vietnam. Aside from Vietnam, they're pretty much exposed in China. And then they have a large US market where uh, the Jollibee stores there are doing well, are getting its own traction, plus at the Middle East component. Then if you add uh, their expansion of them getting Smash Burger, this further adds a larger amount of bottom line, larger amount of earnings to them. So uh, that's what I like about Jollibee is they're, they're, they've been true to their word of them actually expanding beyond the Jollibee brand. Because if you please remember this, the Jollibee brand in and of itself is very, very good already. It has a strong brand, strong um, marketing, uh, it's a marketing juggernaut that, that hits every uh, every social economic class in the Philippines and for Filipinos abroad, it's their, uh, how do you put this, it's their continuation or it's their connection to the Philippines that when you eat in Jollibee, it feels like you're at home, it feels like uh, you've never left the country as well. So you have that plus uh, the, the impending news you know, that there will be Jollibee also in. Uh, Jollibee will expand and get Pretamanji in London, which is a very, very large lifestyle, health, con health and casual dining chain as well. So this will expand and give them a larger uh, base, not just in terms of fast food chains anymore, but this is a, a relatively healthy relatively healthy brand sandwiches, uh, baguettes, coffee, uh, drinks, and everything else in between. And this will give them a larger foothold in Europe. So look at Jollibee's expansion. It's expanding its brand uh, in different markets around the world. But aside from them expanding their brand in different markets around the world, you have uh, Preta Manji in Europe. You have the Vietnamese brands in Vietnam. You have the Chinese brands in China. Then you have Smash Burger in the US. So I'm excited for uh, bigger expansion plans that will be there. And this Timo One deal will further, I, I believe, enhance that. 
especially in their foothold in Southeast Asia. Uh, Timo One's a very, very known brand. They have 45% uh, ownership of the Master franchise, and if they plan to, they can actually expand it even more, which will be a good deal for them as well. So now, uh, those who don't know Jollibee, uh, who haven't seen Jollibee's earnings, so they, they're pretty much fundamentally sound. It's not just all hype. It's not just all uh, stories, and it's not just a brand name, but their income, their EPS have been increasing and growing in double-digit levels as well. So uh, whatever you see uh, in the news, it gets backed up also by the numbers that Jollibee is earning and growing and actually making money at a very, 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 very fast pace. I think uh, the only issue that you will have with Jollibee, especially for people with shorter time horizons wanting to buy the stock, is Jollibee is relatively expensive, especially at 300 pesos. Jollibee is uh, at the 300 peso range, 275, 300 peso range. Jollibee is one of the more expensive consumer stocks out there. But please remember this, uh, Jollibee has been expensive for a very, very, very long time. So why am I saying this? For long-term investors, you are buying Jollibee not because of its price today, but you are buying Jollibee for what it could be based on its growth and then its expansion plan. So a couple of things that you need to answer is how, how fast is Jollibee growing, how fast is its acquisitions, and how it will actually impact their earnings over the long term and how it could actually uh, reflect in the stock price because if you're just looking at the price now Jollibee is relatively expensive so you must factor in its growth rate plus its expansion plans and how it will impact the bottom line of the stock. Uh, if you're very very sensitive on its price no, PE ratio wise the lowest that you can go in terms of its historical PE you know, is around 240 pesos. 240 pesos is not a very very cheap amount but if Jollibee hits 240 I think from a PE standpoint, from a range of your PE standpoint, 240 will be your relatively cheaper price already. But anywhere around 240 at this point in time, you have a shorter time frame. It's it's relatively good to come in and buy it as well. So if you, for those who got it, um, more than two years ago at 180, you guys are sitting in almost 50% uh, gain already. So congratulations to you for that. Plus uh, the dividends that you will get. No, it's not as much, but because any company that's growing really won't give you uh, those high dividends. But uh, it's a bonus with the, with the possible uh, upside that you will get from its growth. Now, from a technical perspective, um, Jollibee has zoomed up no, sometime last year. So with that movement, you have to understand when stocks move up, you will have a level of selling. When you have a level of selling, more sellers bring the prices down. It will hit a point where it will form a support also as it hits the support, people start to buy and prevent it from falling. So that level is at 275 and that resistance is at 300. So for the past few months this year, Jollibee has been ranging. Jollibee has been consolidating. Jollibee has been sideways as well. So why am I saying this? Long term, long term movement is still relatively bullish. You are a position trader. No sell signal yet. But if you're a quick trader, uh, very, very predictable since it's moving sideways. Buy at 275, sell at 200. Buy at 275, sell at 300. Buy at 275, sell at 300. Buy at 275, sell at 300. Fails to hold 275, sell, sell, sell because it may bring the stock lower to around 250 or 240 pesos per share. So please remember, quick traders, buy 275, sell at 300. Failure to hold 275 will bring the stock to around 250, 240. Breakout from 300, target price will be around 325 pesos per share. So it, it, it's an amazing place to trade if you're a quick trader and if you're a position trader, just keep on following the trend and if you are an investor, buy as cheap as you can but look towards the growth of what it can be in the future. So I'm excited, I'm excited for it will be because this is a local company with multinational operations. This is a local company that I believe each Filipino at least should have a part of so you get take advantage of what's going on here. It's hard to understand uh, earnings of other companies, you know, from especially, especially uh, like companies like Surpass or uh, energy companies like Avoidis Power, uh, EDC, FGen. Those are re relatively not as easy to check because they're not really a consumer products. But Jollibee is something that you can tangibly see the growth. You can tangibly see how much they're expanding, and you know that every Filipino will go to Jollibee, and you know they won't lose any customers because Filipinos love the brand love the service, love the food, and it's priced good enough for more and more Filipinos to just continue to continue buy it, all right? So that's it for now. Uh, so if you have any questions with regards to stocks, just post them below. We'll try to make as much videos for all of you uh, each and every day so you guys have a larger sense of making money in the market because that's why I do videos. Eh? The videos are here for you guys 
free content so you guys get to trade the markets with ease and confidence that's my whole that's my goal that's my heart to really see Filipinos uh, be well known in, in the world of trading and investing it's time that we see Filipinos earn a lot from the stock market it's time for the world to recognize the best traders and investors could be found in the Philippines that we are raising a new generation of people who are financially free not dependent from the 8 to 5 9 to 6 uh, cubicle lifestyle but we are we are developing a new set a new batch of Filipinos now that can earn wherever you are and that's what the stock market brings regardless of where you are in the world it doesn't matter because you get to live your life at your own terms you get to trade as long as you have an internet connection and as long as you have a strategy money can be made in the stock market so that's it for now for those who are asking where this is this is in this is in the south of Manila, this is in Alabang. So that's it for now. Um, next batch of events will be ICON 2018, this May 26, uh, in Samsung Hall with Rex Mendoza, Randall Chongson, Dodon Pacanando, and 10 other speakers speaking with me in that event. Then you have Stock Smarts Melbourne this June 9 and 11, and Stock Smarts Manila this June 16, 23, and 31. All right, so that's it for now. I'll put the links below for those who want to know more about it. But if you're new to this channel, subscribe. If you're new to this Facebook page, keep on liking so you get updated with all of the newest content that we are producing. So that's it for now. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. Marvin Germo from Alabama. See you all again soon.